are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders fields. John McRae. They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They mingle not with their laughing comrades again. They sit no more at familiar tables of home. Robert Lawrence Binion. Soldiers are citizens of death's gray land, drawing no dividend from time's tomorrows. In the great hour of destiny they stand, each with his feuds and jealousies and sorrows. Soldiers are sworn to action. They must win some flaming fatal climax with their lives. Soldiers are dreamers. When the guns begin, they think of firelit homes, clean beds, and wives. I see them in foul dugouts, gnawed by rats, and in the ruined trenches, lashed with rain, dreaming of things they did with balls and bats. Siegfried Sassoon. Indifferent, flippant, earnest, but all bored. The doctors sit in the glare of electric light, watching the endless stream of naked white, bodies of men for whom their hasty award means life or death, maybe, or the living death of mangled limbs blind eyes, or a darkened brain. And the chairman, as his monocle falls again, pronounces each doom with easy, indifferent breath. Then suddenly, I shudder as I see a young man stand before them wearily, cadaverous as one already dead. But still they stare untroubled as he stands, with arms outstretched and drooping thorn-crowned head, the nail marks glowing in his feet and hands. Wilfred Wilson Gibson. Thank you.
only the monstrous anger of the guns. Only the stuttering rifle's rapid rattle can patter out their hasty orisons. No mockeries now for them. No prayers nor bells. Nor any voice of mourning save the choirs, the shrill, demented choirs of wailing shells and bugles calling for them from sad shires. Wilfred Owen. And now the torch and poppy red we wear in honor of our dead. Fear not that ye have died for naught. We'll teach the lesson that ye wrought in Flanders' fields. Moina Michael. <laughs>